So, it's finally a beautiful day. The dog is, I think, sleeping somewhere. Hopefully, it'll stay that way. The kids aren't home yet. We're good. Now, I've done this video before. I don't usually do retakes, but the audio on it was atrocious. So, we have to do it again. And uh, I did take notes. <laughs> but this is, and I apologize for it, but you know what? It's just, and there's a guy mowing his lawn. It's just not, not to be believed. Uh, these are Evo juices. Uh, E-liquid evolved. Uh, these guys... Uh, uh, you can't buy their stuff directly from them. They supply other vendors, and there'll be a list of vendors in the description that carry it. Uh, both brick and mortar and uh, online. So I actually got these, and with all the problems I have, it's actually been beneficial for this juice. Because when I first got them, uh, they were, and right, out, right off the, the hop, they were perfuming. So what that actually tells me after three years of doing this is that they were fresh, too fresh. They really didn't have time to bloom and steep. So I took the tops off them uh, completely, even the little um, dropper portion of it, and set them on the shelf. Now I've had these for a few weeks now, but after about a week, I don't know, I forgot about them. <laughs> so I think it was four or five days after about, you know, a week. I'll say a week. Um, they were really good. The only one that still has a lingering, um, and I think I need to take the top off and let it sit for another couple of days with, let the air get to it, um, is the wild watermelon. It just has a, I, just a hint of the, I don't know. Maybe it'll never go away for me. Or maybe it's just stuck in my mind that it was perfumey and I didn't like it. Um, but it still has that little hint. But the thing is, if you get a juice and right off the hop you hate it, give it a chance. Because depending on how fresh it is, you could be giving up on a juice that you will eventually really like. Um, so like I said, I've done this uh, before. <laughs> But I got apple palm smoothie, wild watermelon, banana blitz, and cantaloupe. Um, when it's, we've already talked about the watermelon. They, they all have really good plumage. Um, and uh, the throw hit on them, I'm just going to... I'm just going to throw the cantaloupe on here to get this one over with. I have to say, this tastes like cantaloupe. That being said, I hate cantaloupe. I just, I can't, I, yeah, really hate it. And I have tried cantaloupe. Here it goes, just for you. In the interest of science. That's all. Oh, I know it's awful, but I mean, that's the same face I get with um, tobacco flavors. I don't like tobacco either. But yeah, cantaloupe. And it leaves a little bit of an aftertaste of cantaloupe. Cantaloupe to me always tastes like the rind of something else. But don't, if you like cantaloupe, you will like this one. The throat hit is nice and you've seen. This is just a, a low res uh, shorty cardo, but I pull the stuffing out of it, so now it's a shorty atomizer but yeah <laughs> one more time just for you okay cantaloupe okay like I said the watermelon was I'm just gonna pop the watermelon on here because I still like it but it's just got that faintest hint of 
perfume. It, it's hardly there anymore, but I don't know if it's my mind. But it's a nice watermelon taste. Um, it, yeah, watermelon. I mean, they all have really nice throat hits. And this one is the banana. You notice how I put different color drip tips? <laughs> Yellow is for banana. The banana blitz. I'm not sure what else is in it besides banana. I didn't go to the, any of the websites and check it out. Just sort of want to just um, grab the flavor and see if if I enjoy it before in my mind they plant the seed of something else. Does that make sense? Maybe not. It is a nice banana. It's a smooth, not a not um, not a really heavy banana taste, but more of a smooth, like a like a banana pudding. Does that make sense? Did I make even a note of this? Yeah, cantaloupe, yuck. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a nice, it's like, like a smooth banana pudding. But yeah, it's nice. Now, on to my favorite one, which surprised me that it was my favorite because it's an apple. I, I don't really like a lot of apple vapes. I'm not a big apple eater, but I think it's the pomegranate that makes it nice for me. Uh, it's apple palm smoothie, so I'm assuming palm is pomegranate. It just gives that that it doesn't overpower you with the apple but um, somebody else I got to try that's the thing it's um, taste is subjective as long as it's a decent juice with a decent throat hit and you know I get the vapor I'm good with it it's uh, the taste is gravy for me do you know what I mean um, and different people will taste different things because your mouth is different than everybody else's. You've done some damage to it with smoking and we've all done damage with it smoking uh, but you're gonna taste a difference. But uh, these are decent. They have like the, the batch number on it so if there's any problems. Uh, the bottles are really well labeled. Um, it has a best buy which is basically expiry date. Um, these are all 12 and I'm getting a decent throat hit out of 12 which uh, some people think that they need a really high um, nicotine in order to get a throat hit but yeah I'm gonna put all the information of, of the company in the description but uh, and the prices but the, the thing is, it's going to be, might be slightly different on every website, but probably not. It'll probably be the same across the board. But I will list the websites that have it and uh, the brick and mortars that have it. But all in all, once I gave it a chance, and you really do have to give a juice a chance, even if you hate it right out of the hop, take the top off, put it on the sh shelf, let it either bloom, because you want the ingredients to meld together, uh, get some air to it, that'll help and um, let it steep but yeah these are Evo e-liquid evolved and I actually enjoyed them thanks Sumi Gun Set Award Ha 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 ha!